in the recent years i think you've seen uh, so many applications that are using qr code and uh, i had to do my research so that i can get to understand what is qr code which is also like a type of a barcode and i found that uh, qr code is a uh, two dimensional uh, two dimensional uh, matrix barcode that uh, encodes data in uh, with over 400 characters into a graphical image now uh, as you know that countries like china they have uh, used this type of technology in uh, uh, to make china one of the cashless uh, countries or economy uh, where they don't use uh, things like cash and uh, even credit cards and in our today's session i want to show you how you can create an application that uh, uh, you can uh, implement the use of a uh, qr code but before we start our today's session i want you to subscribe and even share this link so that you can get notified whenever i upload a video like this one and who am i i am Mariko banks uh, from code star technologies uh, where i normally offer courses uh, based on the latest technologies and also we normally develop softwares uh, in a wide range of um, uh, a wide range of uh, application uh, especially in this field of uh, software development so you can either request for a desktop uh, desktop application web application even mobile application and embedded systems let's get back to our today's session and as i said uh, we are talking about qr code and for me to understand more about qr code i had to do an application that uh, can simplify things things and i want you to give uh, i want you to give yourself a challenge where you can uh, create your own application and in my case i did an application where i created a, a staff id that can be used to uh, for either entrance and so forth you can also do a student id that uh, makes maybe the student to uh, for for the, the the institution to record students for attendance and things like that even entrance on the gate uh, even uh, for the guys who are in the insurance in, insurance industry uh, you can create um, maybe the stickers where you, um, in case maybe the traffic police they want to know what is happening whether you have got uh, an insurance and so forth they just need just to scan the the, the qr code and get uh, the information and also in a other wide range wide range of application that you can develop so it depends on you which one you want to implement you can also imp implement in door opening and so forth now let's get uh, back to our today's session and uh, as i told you i created an application this is it and one thing you need to uh, to do is to I, I did it with php and i downloaded this library for qr code uh, so that i can make use of it and this is my index page which has got a form and then it submits data to this qr generate to generate the qr code and even the id itself so that is it and it is stores that information in these images once it creates the image now uh, let's get to our uh, so that we can r run this uh, program of ours and as you can see i'm using wamp so i will open my browser and um, i'll just write uh, something to do with the uh, local host and uh, my system is referred to as uh, uh, the amp id that is what i did and as you can see this is it and i just need to upload an image you just need a passport photo let me use one of my images that i have here i think i have a passport something like that jpeg and then i will open it and as you can see this is the image you can do it uh, i just use a photo that i took some years back i think 2015 somewhere there then yeah, let me write my name um let me pick this now and job title it is going to be software you can say software developer is okay employee code i can say see something I use these ones i used to test and uh, this i can say it is valid until uh, maybe to do with um uh, let me set it to 2022 maybe february or january something like that first so as you can see that is my deadline and you can choose either this one and you have to specify you're not a robot then submit this information so once i submit this information it's going to display something like like this one so i can print this one 
and once I print this one uh, you can print it on uh, we normally have the plastic uh, the, the plastic uh, printable plastic that you can print your ID card that is staff ID or maybe you can use a piece of paper print and even laminate and now this one you can implement it with um, the devices that uh, work with QR code so it you just need to be scanned and once they scan this information shows whether you are um, staff and it's whether the, 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 the information is valid so if it is a door it can open if it is a um, maybe uh, you've been caught in some crimes and so forth and the police they need to verify whether you you are one of the staff they can scan this one using the QR code uh, on their phones and these can be integrated with the API of the database of the employees and you can get they can get to your personal information like whether you are an employee of that company so they can contact the company and so forth maybe if it's a company that has server and maybe you need to verify whether the employee is authorized to access the server you can also do the same using this one and in case as i said you can apply it on the student id you can also apply it on the um, uh, if it is insurance you can just create an insurance sticker that maybe the police they can scan and it will show the details whether it's correct and so forth and even you can create an e-wallet uh, using qr code where people they can use to register create a wallet add money using some of the available uh, means like you can integrate it with your bank account and so forth and make use of it now there is another thing i want you to know it's also simpler to do it with um, um, that you can do it with the Google Forms and Google Spreadsheet, uh, creating a, a simple application that can do that. Uh, for those guys who are very well conversant with the uh, spreadsheet, you can make use of it and uh, it works very well. So I did this because I used to find it very hard for generating maybe staff ID or maybe you want to generate student ID in some of the institutions. So though some I've tried to engage some institution, but uh, you know it's very very difficult sometimes to uh, bring change to a certain institution so this is where we are and i hope maybe one day maybe uh, you can you can maybe contact me be in case you want to collaborate with me and we make sales on this application if you have challenge and even you can do it on your own so i'm going to share the whole folder uh, on the description you can download and make use of the code and even modify it in a way that you want so thank you guys and uh, i appreciate so far for those guys who have subscribed uh, keep um, supporting this channel and also keep uh, sharing these uh, links so that we can get to move forward together uh, for those guys who are not uh, subscribed make sure you subscribe so that you can get notified every time i upload this and uh, there is a lot of uh, application that i'm going to show you uh, feel free to uh, contact me in case maybe you have any problem or any challenge on the description so thank you and see you on the next video